Right, so I'm an idiot. I didn't check that there was enough storage to actually record this episode. So this one's gonna be mostly audio. Is what it is, sorry, my bad. Welcome back to the best show on the internet that's hosted by the two of us and that discusses music on a weekly basis. My name is Ghostface Killer and I'm here with my co-host. And the show's called Music Is It Good Though. I miss that every time, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I'm young, dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, so this is one of our little special episodes where we talk about the alleged best album of every year, according to RateYourMusic.com. This year, I think we're up to 1994, I want to say. 93. 93? Mm. Huh. Well, 93. 93. Yeah, we'll go with that. And it's the album by Wu-Tang Clan, what is called... Enter the Wu-Tang. Easy brackets, to remember. 36 Chambers. 36 Closed Chambers. Brackets. Closed brackets. Closed brackets. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so tell me, did you have any preconceptions of the Wu? Yeah, I like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've done on our normal podcast, was it Raekwon's album? No, who was it? Ghostface, Ghostface Killer's yeah. album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knew that and I'd heard some of the... I'd never listened to a full Wu-Tang Clan album, to be fair. But what I had heard before, like the one that they did with Isaac Hayes, um, I Can't Go to Sleep, I don't, it's not on this album. Um, I'd like that and I'd liked... In fact, I'd heard some of the songs off this album before, mm-hmm. like Protect Your Neck and... That was on, like, I can't remember if it was last year's or the year before's a WWE soundtrack. Was it? Yeah. Where? So, yeah. Because I, I saw that it was Wu-Tang, because I played that game. I've not played the latest one, but I played that one that had Protect Your Neck on it. And I saw that it was Wu-Tang, and I just thought, I wasn't even aware they were still going, but all right. But no, it's from an no. older album, so. Only one of them's dead. Are they? Yeah. Which is odd for a hip-hop collective, because normally they die quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just old dirty bastard who's dead. All right. Um, yeah, what was your preconception of them? Basically, just from... My preconceptions of them come entirely from the Ghostface album that we did. Mm. Prior to that, I'd probably heard some songs in passing. I'd heard Wu-Tang Clan Ain't Nothing to F With, Yeah. which I like. It's mm. just nice, fun hip-hop. Reminds it's, me of Cypress Hill. Yeah. <laughs> it's the era of hip hop that I tend to prefer. When like I've said this before, and it sounds so stupid when you explain it like this, but whereas modern hip hop is kind of like really all over the place with the rhyme schemes, this is the era of hip hop where it's kind of like yeah. <laughs> and I like that. It's simple but it's easy to follow and you can still get a good song out of it. So yeah, when I've been listening to this album though, I've been struggling to get hold of any of the lyrics. Hmm. Like, I get that with a lot of rap music though, because my brain's tuned to slow, slower yeah. <laughs> delivery, and just some of it's weird. Like when old dirty bastards turn it, it just sounds weird. Like his voice, like the timbre of his voice is just odd. He's got a very sort of growly voice, hasn't mm. he? A very deep. But he like he. He puts himself out there as weird, like when he introduces gay ghost face killer on one of these. He's going to say gay face killer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably shoot me. But there's another killer in um, Wu Tang that I didn't know Master Killer. Right. You know, I don't think that I can remember many people that's in it. Yeah. I know there's Raekwon. Yeah. There's Rizza. Rizza. Jizza. Jizza. Sizza. Old dirty Bastion. <laughs> um, nine. Something. Oh no, you god. Young you god. Something like that. Method man's in it. Oh yeah. Um Ice Cube? No. Is he? No. He was in NWA. Right. Inspector Dex. Inspect your dick. <laughs> yeah. Like, why is it all gay now? Why are they all gay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I think Capadon is an unofficial member. Okay. There's so, nine of them. What did you make of this album then? It was all right. Like, the first few times I listened to it, I've listened to it, like, four or five times, because the first two times it just, like, was on in the background. I was like, yeah, I took absolutely no notice of that. Like, nothing stood out to me. It all just seemed to go in a blur. But the last three times I've sat down and actually listened to it. Hmm. Yeah, and it's actually okay. It's, again, hip-hop. I'm never going to just sit there and listen to a hip-hop album unless it's for this, Hmm. because it just isn't my thing. 
I like to know what I'm listening to. And some of it's like... I just don't get the whole, I don't know, glorifying, like, violence and... Mm. We're know. very pacifist on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> pacifist and runaway. Is and, how... like, they aspire to a different lifestyle than I do. They want, like, the cars yeah, and the rich life and the women and stuff, and I just want the women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about you? Yeah, I, I mean, I did enjoy it. It's I like the communal feel within it because there's so many people and they're kind of like batting off the verses to each other and stuff mm. I'll, it makes for a fun listen I couldn't really tell you what any of the songs are about not only because it's hip hop and like you say we've got slow brains but I think in general I find it hard to follow what lyrics and songs are about anyway I think my brain just tunes more into the instrumentation one of the weirdest things was on this album is I like one of the intermissions. Like that's another thing that I don't get like on hip hop albums. I said it before, it's the skits. Skits and just don't get it. And, yeah. and this is a really weird one on this, where they're just going on about how like what weird violent act they're gonna commit to each other. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna sew your ass up and keep feeding you. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take your tongue out of your mouth and drive a rusty nail through it. It's an an, an unusual one. Isn't it? What, <laughs> they are all like Shaolin monks or whatever the thing is, isn't it? Yeah. Because the so you know they're into violence. Just I think monks. Shaolin monks. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a monk in D and D, and they fight. So there yeah. you go. Huh? Probably use kung fu though instead of sewing someone's arsehole shut. Yeah, generally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have highlights for the album? Um, I like what is it? Wu Tang gonna. F- Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to f with. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I like that. I loved it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like the first track, Bring the Ruckus. Bring the Ruckus. And then The Mystery of Chess Boxing. I thought that was a good song. Yeah. Because that's the one enough. where I think it's the one where old dirty bastard goes mental. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can it all be so simple as well? That was a good one because it was kind of like a nice chilled. Mm. It kind of reminded me like oh, what I imagine his old soul, having never really listened to many soul albums. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Uh, highlights for me, I completely agree. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to F with. Um, also, I really like Protect Your Neck. Mm. Like, it's, like I said, I've already mentioned about how it was on WWE and stuff, like, so it's kind of ingrained into my head anyway, and it was just, I like the song. Couldn't tell you what it's about, well, probably about protecting your neck, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> I just like how it sounds. And also, one that we discussed, b- discussed before recording, which is Shame on a N star 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 A. It's just a good song. Mm. Shame on a nana. Yeah, show you on a nana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's just a really kind of the groove of it, like the funk of the bass line and stuff. It's just a nice, yeah. it hooks you in for that one. So yeah, I, I did enjoy that. Well, hip hop of this era is more funky, isn't it? It is, like it's very bass driven and yeah. It's Whereas, like the totally produced crap like it is nowadays. Yeah, it's very, I don't know, like synthy, I guess, yeah. these days. Electronic. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, it was very, like, in those days, and before those days, in the 80s, and, like, Sugar Hill Gang and stuff, like, it all, it was the drums and the bass and everything else is kind of miscellaneous. Mm. So, yeah, I did like the kind of driving bass of it. This is the first album of these albums of the year that hasn't been absolute crap. It has, yeah. (laughs) Every other album that we've discussed so far has been both of us saying, well, I didn't like that. Yeah. (laughs) I, no, take that back. Aphex Twin I did enjoy, but you oh, didn't, and it brought us down. Garbage. So, <laughs> putting a number on this one? I'd give it a six. Yeah. I would give it a seven, which would put us at six and a half out of ten, which, you know, considering it's the best album of the year, allegedly, you'd still hope it would be higher, mm. but, you know, it's still on the positive side. Yeah. So, this is the first time where, as a collective hive mind that is us two, we've come to agree that an album is good when yeah. it's the best album of the year. So, that's good. I'm interested to see if there's ever going to be, like, a an actual good one, though. Yeah. Like, a rock one, maybe? Is there going to be a rock album? Maybe. Ever? Tune in next week. Not next week, but for the... Just tune in next week, anyway. Next time, we're going to be discussing the best album of 1994, which is the album by Nas... Ilmatic, didn't Ilmatic, you just say? Yeah. Ilmatic. Um, don't know when that one's going to be coming out. If I just said next week, it's probably not going to be next week because these ones come out when we've just got stuff to do, so leave us alone. But tune in next week anyway where we'll be discussing another new album that's come out. Bye. See y'all and have a nice day.
Den er til en første arv. 